what's good guys so this is part two for the tables um if you haven't seen the first video and you want to learn about tables then i would check that out in the description below um yeah so this is video number three for the advanced scripting series that i'm making um so let's just get into it now what we're gonna go over is real quick is just a function that i wanted to show you guys um it's called table.unpack okay so the first argument is going to be the reference to the table um that we want to unpack and then i don't even know if you can put it in another argument i'm gonna have to check the docs um but yeah so let's say like and i this is useful for if we have like three items in our table and we want them to be variables and let's say a function that we're using or something so we can go, um, and I'll, just to show you those words, we can go broccoli. Um, lamb chops and uh, horses equals table dot unpack my food. Broccoli, lamb chops, horses, table that unpack my food. So now we can print broccoli, for example. Okay. And as you can see, it printed soda because this is a variable we made. And so what, what it does is it goes through every item in the table from one to 10, whatever. And it, uh, I mean, it just, it brings them out of the table and it stores them in these variables. So like, let's do another one. Let's see if, let's see what happens if we do this. So, Cheeto. And then let's print Cheeto. It's probably gonna come back in the middle. Yeah, because it doesn't exist. And it's so yeah, table.unpack. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, but what we're going to be doing is going to be making a stats table real quick so that you can see how you can control your, um, players, uh, stats if you wanted to, you know, versus having like a pool value, you have like you know, um, these tables instead. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do game.players.player added connect function player. We're gonna do player character added connect function character. And we're gonna do uh, local humanoid child humanoid now humanoid should exist um because this is in a player dot character added function so humanoid should exist but just to be cautious we're gonna do um fine first child all right <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna say um, Humanoid dot visit humanoid dot health equals uh, my food um, soda. Okay, so let's see what happens to our health. Boom, health is at twenty five. So that's really all there is to it. So any property that you have in the humanoid or any property that um, you have you can just access the value. So if we, by writing my food uh, with brackets soda, we get 25 as the value, or we could just do my food dot soda and the same thing will happen. Boom, 25 HP. Um, so yeah, that's really how you can just, you know, use tables as far as like stats go. And so, um, yeah. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.